Hedge fund pharma douche Martin Shkreli is back in the news, as you may have seen, fighting with 16 and 17 year olds, or maybe not fighting, but definitely putting down uh, their achievements and uh, hiding his uh, douchebaggery. You may remember him in 2015 for being in charge of Turing Pharmaceuticals. At the time, he made headlines in 2015 for raising the price of the drug Daraprim, which mainly contains a ingredient called pyrimethamine, which is very important for immunocompromised people. From $13.50 a pill to around $750 a pill, that's a markup of about 5,000%. Recently, there were some headlines going around that some high schoolers were able to recreate the pill for about $2 each. That's a significant markdown. With headlines such as, high schoolers punch Martin Shkreli in the face, figuratively, and Sydney high school students show up Martin Shkreli. They were able to produce this themselves using easily findable in, uh, chemical components in a high school lab. By the way, they are all 16 to 17 years old um, from the Sydney Grammar School, and it was, a great achievement and there were some barbs back and forth. Martin Shkreli actually tweeted about this, quoting a headline that said, can the students show up Martin Shkreli? And he just wrote dot dot dot, uh, no. And further went on to weirdly put them down and say it's easy to do this and anyone could have done it. And I think that highlights a point that the kids themselves brought up. One of the students, Leonard Milan, told Guardian Australia that Shkreli saying to us that anyone could do it is certainly true. If you follow his overpriced method using toxic chemicals in an industrial lab, it's easy. But the fact that we were able to substitute some really toxic gases with simple school available chemicals and do it so cheaply demonstrates the absurdity of some of his justifications for the price. I think Martin is an attention-seeking businessman the way he responds to every Twitter post made threatening him, bragging about he can do whatever he wants reflects this. Whilst there are mitigating factors, namely the percentage of returns he puts back into research and development, I think he has made it a personal matter. If he were to get pushed around by school kids, it'd be a bad look. I feel that Martin can forget that there are people's lives and livelihoods at stake. I love that. I love that a 17-year-old will maybe a 17 year old, maybe a 16 year old, was able to write something so eloquently and so perfectly demonstrate what is wrong with this thinking. This is a businessman. This is someone who's forgotten that people's lives are at stake here. This is a drug that helps fight toxoplasmosis, which about a quarter of the public is infected by but doesn't know it. For someone with a compromised immune system, this can be devastating and lead to such issues as weakened immune systems and uh, serious symptoms including seizures if left untreated. These are people's lives at stake. These kids got into science at what is equivalent to the high school level in the United States uh, because they realize there are lives at stake and there is a lot that they can do if they apply themselves into STEM. Shkreli did post a video later saying, I applaud students for getting into STEM, but also highlighted his own achievements and pointed out that he, quote, has patents and stuff which is, again, forgetting the point. That, what the kids are saying is, if anyone could easily do this, or not anyone, but if someone with you know, a high school level of um, education can do this, there's no reason why it should be this inflated. Yes, it does cost money to pay labs and to keep up labs, but that is exorbitant. And he has forgotten, or he doesn't give a shit, probably, that there are people's lives at stake here. The kids were not deterred by that video that he posted, and one of them said, it has made me want to do a science degree. That's from James Wood, and that is the best takeaway you could possibly get from this. People who are intelligent and ambitious and minded for STEM to do good instead of just profit heavily off of people's pain and suffering getting into the field. Audience, what do you think of this? And, um, God, I mean, this, this drug that the students have created would not be able to be sold in the U.S. due to regulations. It is Australia only at this point, and that is another frustrating part of this story. What do you think about that? Please let me know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.